his families, including grandfather and uncle, have a high name in traditional painting in Ethiopia. They had contributed a lot in the traditional painting style in the country. His name is also strongly associated with the modern painting art in Ethiopia. Though traditional painting art has long history in Ethiopia, the modern painting was started when he had begun to teach young Ethiopians at his young age. In doing so, he managed to establish the modern painting in the country. When modern painting art is recalled, his name is in front. This name is Allah Felega Salam Herui. Allah was born in Salali province in a town called Fuche in the 1920s. Though he lost his father at his early age, he was given a name, Allah, by his grandfather. It is to mean. Uh, I was uh, born from uh, Fulag Salam, my father, and my mother was at the Desta. Uh, and my grandfather, uh, when he looked at me, well, anyway, as soon as uh, I was born, a month and a half later, my father dies by accident. And uh, grandfather looked to the newborn child, who was me, and then the newborn child was said to be that uh, I look like exactly li like my father. Oh well, that's very good. That is, uh, uh, grandfather decided that my name is Al. Al means present. As a result, my son did not die. He is still alive. Ale grown up in Fiji with grandparents attending the traditional church education. He learned the Bible and other books of the church. When he was 13, his grandfather decided to send him to Kenny school. Nevertheless, his uncle Imailaf, who was visiting the family during that time, subjected to take Ale to Addis to attend modern education in Teferi Mekonen school. Then Ale joined Furry McConan School at the 15th grade. My uncle came to visit his parents. He's uh, uh, the second uh, person to my, the, the third child to my grandfather and uh, brother of my own father. And uh, the grandfather now this time was planning to send me to to study Kini at Sre Madanyalim with Alekat Babu and uh, my love, my uncle my love, objected. Uh, now I think uh, instead of uh, sending him to uh, religious school, Kine, and so, 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 but uh, he should uh, study. Tafari Mokonu school will be opened very shortly, I'm sure. Uh, he should start studying there. So you came to Addis Ababa to... Exactly. He, he brought Mokonu me school. to Addis Ababa and put me in Tafari Mokonu school. Allah was clever enough to complete all the grade levels from the 15th to the 5th grade within two years. The 5th grade was considered a secondary school during that time, so that he joined the Addis Ababa Technical School to study technology and engineering from the 5th grade. He again completed the technical school successfully, scoring high grade and received a prize. Alle from the technical school and Ms. Fanta from Medan Elam School, who scored high grade from their respective schools, were selected to go to abroad to continue their education. 
we have been interviewed by Ato Gbrbariam Amante, who is considered uh, to be an expert uh, of all uh, the students uh, who go abroad. Uh, uh, he will have to uh, interview us. Uh, he, at first, he asked me, "What do you like to study when you go to a higher uh, university?" Well, I want to study uh, mechanical engineering. That was my answer. And Mas von Fentauls also asked, what do you like to, to study? Mas von Fenta answered that I'm, I'm planning to study political science. Okay. Very good. Then we got injection we got uh, clothes, two clothes, overcoats and everything, shoes, uh, about four shirts they gave us and everything was prepared for us. Though Arle was ready to go to abroad to learn mechanical engineering, time has passed after he had made medical examination. Arle didn't want to waste his time. He started attending classroom, back again in technical school. One day, I was attending classroom, simply. Just, uh, just not to waste your time. Yeah, not to waste my, my time. I was just attending one school. The instructor, uh, Mr. Vincenzo Fubo, asked me to, to go to his room and to bring him some uh, instrument. Okay, a smaller instrument it was. And then I broke down, I gave him. Uh, then I saw in his room all the wall painting and uh, there was a lady, a portrait of a lady, which he is painting uh, with oil color and uh, all this uh, uh, very interesting. That, that is the movement you were impressed with painting? Exactly. And then w I was surprised to see, oh, I can, maybe I will try, you know, simply. I came down, uh, put my message to him back, and uh, gave him whatever he ordered me to bring him. This was the time Allah was experienced with painting. He was so much delighted by the portrait of a lady that he had seen at the office of his teacher. Then Allah got excited to paint and to produce the portrait of his friend. He called one of his friends and asked to take a chair and start to paint him. He did it marvelously. His teacher and his friends are missed of his deed. I did one portrait of one boy and then all the students started asking me, please, me too, me too, draw me, paint me, you know, all, uh, all the boys came. I don't know, probably uh, for <laughs> in one day, four of, or five of them I do, uh, finally, I'm sure, uh, he's very sure, uh, more than uh, 150 students. Have been drawn. I'm sure, uh, something like that. I give, I give them. I, I draw the, uh, my, my draw, I make my uh, drawing and I give them. Allah painted over 150 portraits of his friends, including the portrait of Emperor Haile Selassie I which was kept at the dining room in technical school. So the visit of the emperor to technical school was uncommon. One day, he came to visit the school. While visiting the dining room of the school, the emperor saw his own picture. The emperor surprised of the artwork and asked the student who did that portrait. All of them responded, Allah. Allah was not around. The emperor ordered the director of the school to bring him to the national palace. The next day, Allah visited the emperor at his palace. 
this time the minister was at Akal work and finally Akal work in 15 days the emperor ordered that they, you must find an art school for this young uh, boy. I bowed, I left, finished. Within 15 days, Allah joined the Art Institute of Chicago in the United States of America, where he earned his bachelor degree in art. He joined the drawing class of the institution after taking entrance exam. I stayed at the YMCA. The first day was uh, I went, I have been introduced to the director, they g g gave me uh, uh, that what I had, uh, uh, my background, uh, one of the examination was uh, something to uh, put uh, a small essay to write down, and then um, mathematics and so forth, a high school examination. Uh, that was maybe simpler for you? Yeah, they, they gave me a high school examination. Finally, I discovered that uh, uh, from Inglewood High School, they have uh, uh, an instructor who gave me all the examination and he showed them, uh, oh, okay, you have passed, go ahead. Then I went into drawing class, the second. Allah pursued his education for six years in Art Institute of Chicago. Then he returned to his home country to establish the modern art school in Addis Ababa, which was his long dream for his country. He started his work by illustrating books at the Ministry of Education. When the Silver Jubilee of the Emperor was celebrated, he got the chance to exhibit in gallery of semi-abstract pictures. After a while, he started to teach young Ethiopians from secondary school in Addis Ababa, renting a house of Rastesta. A student came every weekend to attend the painting class. And then uh, when these boys, Saturday they come, I give them examination, I can tell them Tariq Nam Saleh, any fairy tale so they are in Amharic. Difficult on the picture. Yeah, and then that uh, they are told, told to illustrate it in a very understandable way. And then I will make them listen some Ethiopian music. Tzita or uh, uh, maybe Bati oh anything and uh, finally they are asked they, we ask them I ask them to illustrate it 